Okay, so the end is unfortunately near and we are getting ready to leave Sao Paulo. And that means we need to pack. Okay, so while the laundry is running, I think it's time to start packing the things that are already clean. Okay, so as you see, I have a ton of clothes. And if you watch any of my vlogs, or at least more than three, you see that I basically wear the same 10 outfits on repeat constantly. So while I don't feel intimidated because, I don't know, packing is kind of fun for me, I do realize that I need to start taking mental notes of what are outfits that I do wear and what are outfits that I never wear so I can start to minimalize how many things I'm taking with me in the future and maybe even when we get to Mexico because it's so much closer to where we're from in Texas, I can even ship some clothes back to my house in Texas with my family so we don't have to lug around everything that I brought out of a fear of not being prepared. Okay, so first round of clothes are packed up. I know you saw me just shoving things into the big one and that's because I need to reorganize it. It's actually a mess inside. So I'm just shoving things in there so I can fix it up in a second. But I think the next thing I need to do is get the souvenirs and gifts that we've got for our family and put it in my secure case that has the extra protection. Okay, not that anybody asked, but here are the gifts that I got my family. I got them little Brazil hats. I got these mugs. Oh my, can't see the mugs. I got these mugs for my grandma and they're like clay-ish, you know, and they have all these plants and designs and a little toucan. So, got one, got another one. And then a ton of shirts, like a absolute ton. They all say Brazil in some shape or form, but I thought they'd be nice so people had proof that they knew somebody that went to Brazil. And then for Eric's mom, I thought it'd be nice to let her have some of these images that we got when we went to Rio. We saw the giant statue. And so we got some like physical copies and I thought those would be nice souvenirs. So yeah, my little souvenir haul. Gonna go make sure I pack these in a very safe place.
Okay, so my packing for today is pretty much done. I feel actually really, really confident. When I came here, I was like a pound and a half, two pounds over on each suitcase. And since I'm using my backpack and my new carry-on, I think I should be fine. I think I can divide those extra two or three pounds into those bags and avoid over like, overweight charges. So I'm really excited about that. I still need to wait for my clothes to finish drying and then I'll finish all my packing a little bit later. Okay, so this is what I'm working on. I'm going to work on organizing the suitcase, making sure what's in it fits, and then trying to just fit what other electronics and things like that I have into this big suitcase. I will say it is super wild that we are really about to leave. It's been a beautiful but super fast four months, and I feel very lucky to have had this experience, and I'm kind of sad that we're leaving. Also, I got a snack for packing, just so I don't get too sad. So, let me show you. If you know anything about Brazil, these are brigadeiros. This is brigadeiro a leche, this is brigadeiro amendoa. I think that's how you say almond. But, in this big box, is more. So this is a pistachio one, and then more of the leche. This is like a nutty fudge thing that Eric likes, and then more of the almond one. So, I'm really loving the pistachio. It's delicious. But this is what I will be snacking on while I am packing. And I'm so, so, so excited about it. Okay, let's get ready to pack. Mmm. Here's the thing, if I'm being honest, I feel like when I am packing, it feels like every time I get done with something, I'm like, okay, done, complete, task checked. And then I look around and there's just still so much more to do. So even though you saw me pack up my little thing here, even though you just saw me do my big suitcase, I still have a lot of stuff out. So I'm gonna get the pile of clothes that I did in the laundry, bring it in here, make it fit inside of there, and then hopefully I'll start to feel like I'm actually making a dent, because right now I just feel like I'm playing musical chairs with clothing and nothing's changing. And it's not that it's stressing me out, but it's kind of not not stressing me out, and I need to fix that. Also, part of it is like when we first came, I made everything fit inside of my handy dandy little duffel that's in this closet, my future PhD tote bag, and then my two suitcases. However, the reason I did that is because my backpack that you see over there ripped on the way here, but my mom was able to fix it right before we left, and so I'm using that now on our way to our next country. But because of that, I can't really tell if I packed everything because things aren't spatially the same as they were before. And so I'm just feeling, I don't know, I'm feeling really up in the air, not to mention I can't weigh anything. So I'm just like feeling very chaotic right now.
Okay, so when I do packing like this, I try to make like a little nook inside of my bag to house my laptop and other electronics. So it's kind of nestled in a safe little clothing whole divot area. And then I take another sweatshirt and put it on top to make sure that it's, you know, protected from other things. But I'm not quite yet ready to put my laptop away. So I'm just gonna leave that divot open and start trying to make other things disappear. Okay, so for now, I will zip this all up. And keep back. so I'm headed down to actually a part of the apartment that I've never showed you all. We have like a little market in our apartment and it's super convenient. And I'm gonna go get a bottle of water. So yeah, maybe I should give you like a quick apartment tour of other parts of the apartment. So this is like the reading room lounge area. Very nice, very classy. That's a party room. It's closed, no parties. And this is our little market. It has food, ice cream, and drinks and foods and snacks. This giant door that takes you outside into our little area. There's a pool behind here. Oh, maybe I should just show you the pool. So we have a little pool area. Bougie views of the apartment little desk that you can work at or think or sit again the same party area little seating area over here as well i've probably written out here maybe once or twice this entire time not gonna be sad about it though just gonna keep moving We also have ice creams, um, supplies like toiletries, cleaning solution and things like that. And there's even stuff to make like a little fire pit or a grill outside. And then we have a washer and dryer inside our unit. But if you don't, this is the washing and drying room. And our fitness center. Okay, time for my last load of laundry.
Okay, the laundry is up. It is 1.34 in the morning, and um, I think I'm gonna call it a night. I'm still not quite done, because obviously the clothes need to dry, but I'm done enough for tonight. So I'll see y'all tomorrow morning, and hopefully get this, I mean, not hopefully, and finish packing. Good morning everyone. So I woke up, took a shower. I actually didn't go to sleep last night until 4 a.m. And so I've been tinkering around with my luggage, trying to make everything fit. And this is literally all I have left. And so I'm gonna put that away, show you a quick tour of our apartment. It's like an empty house tour, but obviously it still kind of looks like we're kind of packing, but we're almost there. We're like so, so close. So let's, let's get to it. This is the desk area. It's got a little bit of Brazilian money, my snacks and the masks. This closet area, which now is bombarded with all of our suitcases. This is everything we packed. I don't know if that's a lot to you or a little, but this is what we have. And then our living room area. I love this couch. So here we have the beautiful balcony. I love this balcony. It was perfect our beautiful kitchen and Eric. Hi Eric, are you ready? Man, I'm ready like SpongeBob. Do you see the <laughs> yellow? Beautiful, beautiful kitchen, full-size fridge, front door. And then we have our bedroom. The bed's not made because I'm about to wash all the sheets and get them ready for when we leave. This is, you know, our nightstand. You've seen this room a lot. Not much going on. And then, here is our bathroom. Actually just got done showering. This is our shower. Beautiful little bathroom. And yeah, that is our wonderful house tour. I want to thank you all so much for spending this time with me, watching me chaotically pack. And if you're interested in understanding my entire journey here in Brazil, I would head to my grad vlog playlist. But if not, I hope to see you next week. I hope you subscribe and I hope you leave a like. Thank you so much for watching.